tell you what, we're playing some good teams. Pat's team is really good. He is such a good coach, and those kids play hard. Very difficult to defend. Uh, you know, they. You know, it was a big, it was a big win for us. You know, especially coming after Tuesday, and we played hard and well tonight. Not all the time, but we much different than Tuesday. And if we played this way Tuesday, we would have won. And we have to play this way to win today, tonight. Uh, you know, they're, uh, they, with their two ball handlers, uh, Jones and Vaudrin, they put you in a, some very difficult, very difficult situations. And um, the kid Jones, I, I think it's his ankle. Did Pat say, was he in here yet? Pat? He was. Right. They, I, he, they said, it was, so that's good. And for Cassius, we thought his knee right away hurt something pop. And structurally, based on you know what our doctors said right now, it's not the knee. Something happened with his hamstring that he hurt pop. So it's muscular. He'll have an MRI tomorrow. But it's not, we don't think it's a knee injury, which is very, very good. And although I don't, he's going to be out for a while. He's not going to be able to play. Hopefully, right after Christmas. It, you know, you know, that's my hope. And uh, so that was adversity. You know, uh, yeah, adversity and playing there against their unconventional groups. You know, when Ferguson is at the five, they have five three-point shooters. In. So then Vernon Carey's got to guard a perimeter player. And uh, uh, overall, our defense on the three was excellent. You know, we they they took 21 and made six, and uh, and our three-point shooting was outstanding. Um, we had a couple kids, a few kids really step up. Yeah, you know, I thought Matt Hurt carried us for a long time, and then uh, Joey Baker was sensational. You know, not just with his shooting, you know, four for five from three, but yeah, you know, he really played hard defensively and uh, played well. You know, we wouldn't have won the game without Joey. And Jordan Goldwire, you know, with Trey in the back, that's how we started the season. And uh, they were able to put pressure on both their ball handlers. That helped us. So one had Vaudrin, one had Jones. That helped. And then Jay Gold had uh, five steals. He had a couple block shots. Uh, yeah, those two kids really stepped up for us, and yeah, we're yeah we need that. We're a developing team. You know, we're we're not you know we're not the Duke of the last five, maybe even ten years. It's a different group. That's why I said it's old fashioned. It's also old fashioned developing. And uh, but our response from the loss, because I know those kids felt horribly, felt guilty. And you can lose a lot of confidence when you don't already have confidence. You haven't played enough to have confidence. And for them to play that way tonight was very, I'm proud of them. Uh, I'm very proud of how they, they responded. So any questions? What were the things that you wanted to see out of them to say their confidence was there? I mean, besides the final score? Well, just, to, just to, you know, where you don't have a blank stare. You know, I mean, where you're... You're not. You're. I don't know how you'd really describe not having confidence. You know, I, I, it's tough for me to put into words. But when they're not, you can see it in their eyes. You can see, you know, like I thought we were putting. When, I thought we were putting pressure on ourselves, shooting. You know, like we have to make this shot. And one of the timeouts, either at the 12, I think it was at the 12 or 8 minute mark, one of those two, my whole timeout was, look, we're squeezing the ball. You guys are putting the weight of the world on yourselves, not on the defensive end. And I said, just shoot free. And darn it, man, you know, after the time, it must have been after the 8, uh, Joey came out and he went far in transition. I said, well, maybe not that much confidence. <laughs> and, uh, and boom, it went in. But 
you know, God bless them, man, you know, and we're going to have to work through a bunch of things like that with this group, you know, which it's just going to, it's going to take time and we're going to try to muck it out. And, you know, we know we're not a top five team. And we, we may not be a top 25 team in the country right now, but we have a good group and we've, we've beaten good teams and we've played well. And now where do, you know, where do we go? after a loss and a win this week. And it's a different journey. It's a different journey for our fans, for me, and uh, a much different journey. And you know, we're not pounding bound, our chest saying, you know, we're this great team. But uh, we have a great group of kids and they're working hard and let's just try to keep it going. We have a, a really tough week next week that would be tough for even if you were a top five team. So, any any other questions? You said you were going to get scoring from different people this year. You continue to, but I mean tonight you used some different combinations. Ed Baker and Herding at the same time. How, how do you think? How did you like? Well, that? some of it was necessity, you know, with Cassius being out. Yeah. And uh, no, we're, you know, there, it's not set, you know, like uh, everybody's got to be ready. You know, we need Alex O'Connell to play with like he could play, and, and, and he can, you know. Uh, uh, everybody's got right, one Dow didn't have a good night tonight. But when you, but he has, we wouldn't have won against Georgetown without him. So we're gonna get some inconsistencies like that. And as a result of that, it's not necessarily ha not having belief in somebody or whatever, it's tough to have a rotation. Uh, you know, it, it, you got to mix and match here. You know, like who's having a good night, matchups defensively, and then, uh, you know, that's the way it's got to be. We all haven't played well at one time. And that's not surprising with, with a group that's not yet achieved. But if we do, that'd be good. Pretty good. It has not, they have great attitudes. I mean, it's just a matter of getting experience, you know, of, uh, individual and collective experience. It's just going to take a while. Uh, it's going to like, take a while. Kind of given what you just said about the inconsistencies for a young team, if, if I'm only getting a couple minutes because that's not my night, how do you keep them from harping on the fact that I only got a couple minutes? Well, now they get I'm what they deserve, play. man. That's, that's easy. That's, that's easy. You know, like, uh, this is not a socialistic group here, or whatever you want. Like, everyone's, it's not a, everyone gets the same amount of playing time or whatever. Look, no kid has ever been promised anything coming into our program. That they're going to start number of shots, ever, ever, ever. Where I can always look at a, at a group in a locker room and say, it's there for you. you go and get it. And so, if a kid doesn't get an opportunity, then that's different. All these kids are going to have been given opportunities and will be given plenty of opportunities. We believe in all of them. They have to believe in themselves, too. You know, and they also have to have their teammates reinforce, you know, reinforce. Like, they were great with Joey tonight because they know Joey gave us a lift and with Jay Gold. You know, we needed them, you know. And Wendell didn't play well, but he was supportive of those kids. He knows he'll get, he's going to play. You know, that's, but uh, those other kids deserve to play more tonight. If they really deserve to play more. Mike, Trace had 13 turnovers in two games. But you're really going to yeah. carry Trace field. What do you think is going on there? Well, we're playing good people. And, you know, and look, we were horrible on Tuesday. So you can take that game and whatever stats you want. That's not who we are. Tonight, you would have turned the ball over about 80 times if Jones was guarding you. you know, uh, uh, Jones reminds me of Muggsy Bogues. Yeah, he, he, uh, it's ironic too, Pat was at Wake, not with Muggsy obviously, he's too young for that. But, uh, that kid's unusual. He could, 
he's going to turn a lot of people over, a lot. And uh, so uh, we're we're happy with Trey. You know, we'll take we'll take Trey. And he's got he's got the ball in his hands all the time. You know, we're okay. Anything else for Coach? Mike, when you talk about them squeezing the ball and feeling guilty, with it, with they it, put pressure on themselves on a yeah. shot. Well, so with, with not not at, not the last 25, 26 minutes of the game. But going into this game, you get a bunch of freshmen that have never had the experience of coming back from losing or of losing. Right. So what, what were you trying to – portray to them to keep their confidence. No, and part of it, you know, we had some other issues with our program, with some health issues. I had a little health issue for the last game that I was not myself. I had some, anyway, I'm good. But on that day and that night, I was not good. And so part of that is we're human beings, right? We're not going to be perfect, even though a lot of people expect us to be. We're, we're not. And tonight, we're we're better. And but to put that behind you is not easy. You know, it's it's not 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 easy. You know that. You know, at the end of my career, whenever it is, you know, you may be the one who asked me this: is who was your toughest opponent? And I will tell you, right now, human nature. You know, that's a coach's toughest opponent to handle human nature. So I'm not retired tonight. But, uh, one, one more. You, did you have something? I want to ask you about Matthew, the way he played tonight. Last and, Friday night and, in New York, he wasn't happy with how he played against George. And he played well. He was the one guy Tuesday, I thought, that played real well. And uh, I'm proud of him because he was not good in New York. And, and he took the response. And we met, and he's worked harder. It just developed, you know, see, it, 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 they're developing. And, but he responded well. And uh, uh, he responded real well. Proud of, proud of him. You know, we, we just got to keep moving on, you know, moving on. And, what I'm trying to do is not look at anybody else, you know, on any tournaments, any teams, except the one we're going to play and us, and just not compare or or do anything. Where in some years I would look at like, you know, who are the lead horses out there? You know, we we just want to be good enough to be in the horse race at the end, uh, and see where we are at the end. It's going to be that kind of a year for us. Which, that's okay. It, that's what I meant about old fashioned too. By the way, you know, uh, this I just saw or somebody just, I saw it, and then somebody mentioned this is the the 39th anniversary of our first win here. So, how do how do you like that? Uh, yeah, we won again. <laughs> However, that was the first game of the season, and this is our eighth. Isn't that crazy? So that's another thing to look at is it's, it will be December the next time we play. We've already played eight games. You know, and people want to judge. and It's a long season. It's a very, very long season. Yeah. No. All, right, All right. Thanks a lot. All right.